you uh, spent decades in the, the higher echelons of, of the Israeli government, working with different prime ministers, and you were ambassador to Australia and, and to, to Britain as well. The portrayal of the ambassador to Berlin is based on all that experience. It's very real. Uh, it is. Uh, throughout the writing, I uh, tried to remain within the realm of my own experience. Uh, and uh, working with you, Matt, in this regard has been wonderful because you, you quickly pick up the experience and you have this imagination and you run with it. So, yes, I've, I've, for many, many years, I've known what an embassy looks like, how an embassy works, what it's like to conduct a negotiation, what it's like to work under the stress of the Prime Minister's helicopter as well, yes. <clears throat> you see, you still, you live in the, uh, the center of power even now with the Prime Minister's helicopter across from the Knesset. But it's, uh, in the book, one of the things that we developed was that the ambassador, Dan, has this tension over how he wants to handle Hitler, how he wants to handle the Nazis with the Mossad chief, Shmulek. Now, we, we talked about that when we were writing, and you yeah. said that actually that's, that's how things do happen. It all has actually, things do happen. As a matter of fact, I would say it's almost the norm and the rule that there is conflict between uh, the political, diplomatic level and the intelligence level. It's, it's uh, built in. Uh, the prospect for tensions are there throughout, and it is, they're, very, they're very creative. Wherever you look, you'll always find a sharp differences of opinion between the Mossad and our diplomatic people. We try to communicate this through a very real sense of, sense of controversy between the ambassador and uh, the Mossad representative at the embassy, and this is what happens in reality. 